welcome to our show within the Designing Texas show. We call it at home in the hills of Kingswood. I'm Jocelyn White with me, developer and mastermind John Zazelka. John, usually we're introducing our vendors, and we do have some to talk about a little bit later who are building inside our three dream homes here at the hills of Kingswood. But today's kind of a special Christmas gift, holiday present if you will, to all of you. It's a love letter to the town of Frisco, which is where we are. And you love the town of Frisco. I do, Jocelyn. I love the town of Frisco so much. I've been here uh, really since 1989, 1990, and fell in love with it then. And at that time, the city was only approximately 7,500 people. <laughs> and how many do we have here today? Well, today, uh, as of just a little while ago when I checked, it was 150,000 people and growing because this is the fastest growing city in the United States. That's amazing, that's phenomenal growth. I remember at first everyone was worried about the infrastructure because it exploded overnight. They have it down here in the town of Frisco. They do indeed. They've had visionaries that have run this city and some very special people. Uh, there's a gentleman named George Purifoy, who was the city manager when I first moved here, still is the city manager and he has had a phenomenal vision for mm -hmm. how he wanted this place to be special. And here's a sneak peek at the town of Frisco, now a big city indeed. Frisco, Texas. It's come a long way from its humble beginnings as a stop along the early Preston Trail. City manager George Purefoy's initial vision could have never conceived of today's incredible growth. You know, uh, it's really interesting. George Purefoy, our city manager, has been the only city manager Frisco has ever had as a home rule city. So he got here in 1987. Uh, you know, the stories were that he'd be out with the public works crew working on the street, uh, did what he needed to do to make sure Frisco was financially sound, and had a great vision and, and works really well with the elected leaders and creating what we have today, which is a very special community. In fact, this building we're doing this interview in, the George, George Purefoy Municipal Center, I was named after him. He, he fought it, <laughs> he didn't like it, but you know, the city council thought that much of him to, to do that. It's 25 minutes from both DFW International Airport and Dallas Love Field. It's a shopping mecca with over 8 million square feet of retail, including Stonebriar Center. It's a mecca for big businesses and their headquarters as well. Toyota, Ikea, and the new Dallas Cowboys football club headquarters set to open in 2016. Sports is already big in Frisco with the Dr. Pepper Ballpark, the Dr. Pepper Arena, and Toyota Stadium. And then there are the places to live. In a city deemed Tree City USA by the National Arbor Association, Frisco fulfills that real estate mantra of location, location, location. Well, you know, Frisco is still one of the fastest growing cities in the U.S. We're over 150,000 in population, uh, but we'll, all, our build out is estimated to be about 375,000. So, still have a long ways to go. Uh, Frisco is a destination. Uh, we're a tourism destination. Uh, you know, Men's Journal a few years ago named us as the best place to raise an athlete in the country. So, clearly, we're on that path. I think it's safe to say George Purifoy's dream has come true. Now maybe it's on to a bigger and even better vision? Who can imagine? We know the direction we're going in. It's a very master plan community, uh, great public safety. And, and I tell you, a lot of people are moving here. Uh, number one, schools. Uh, they love the schools. We have uh, you know, one of the largest school populations in North Texas growing rapidly. And uh, uh, we've opened uh, two high schools in the last two years and two more under construction. And, um, you know, jobs, uh, wonderful jobs, and public safety. Uh, people will not move in an area that's not safe. Frisco is a very safe community. I think Frisco, Texas, the perfect place for the hills of Kingswood. And now it's time for us to visit one of our vendors, one of the people who will make magic inside one of our custom homes. Now this is Pat Devlin, and he is the guy behind all of the cool smart home features, safety, audio, video. Pat Devlin, Smart Systems of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Yes, and he is uh, working with, with one of our favorite builders uh, here in the Hills of Kingswood. And, and he is working with Tony Visconti of Aww. Bella Custom Homes. And we love him. 
here's a smart system. Smart Systems is an automation company that works in the residential area in the DFW market. And we've been doing this work for about 15 years now. One of our challenges and something that we work very hard on is staying up with the technology because technology is changing so rapidly, it's a big focus of ours to keep up with the current trends. Some of the other things we do, in addition to automation, we do custom theaters. One main feature of this theater that I think is really important for people to understand is available to them is we do a not just a standard HD shape screen, but we do a 235 shape screen, which is a different aspect ratio that's 33% wider than the standard high definition screen. It's the same aspect ratio that you would see in a movie theater. It's different than just coming to a standard home, home theater shape screen. And I think that's very important to be more involved and, and more like a theater experience. What makes that possible is by using a different kind of lens attachments or settings in projectors that are now available that stretch out that image, but at the same time maintain the proper uh, geometry and aspect ratio. There's different factors that go into a room when you're, when you're determining how to make it sound and perform the best. So one of the challenges that we had for this room was to be able to maintain the proper size and have it be as big as possible because we don't want to just close down the size of the room. So maintaining the size, we were able to look at speaker placement so that the speakers, if they're placed in the proper positions, really optimizes the sound. They excite standing waves uh, differently and they make the room sound differently if you put the speakers in different positions. We've been working with uh, Tony Visconti for over 10 years doing his media rooms and his automation systems. And he really allows us to do state-of-the-art work. He really um, it builds a, an amazing home. And uh, he allows us to be creative and to really make sure that the technology is current and that um, we can really do what the, his type of home demands. This is an example of the control center for the house. So this is where all the electronics are so that we don't have to show anything in the house. Everything can be hidden in here from the amplification to the uh, distributed audio, the surround sound rooms and the different uh, amplifiers and then your different sources, all the video distribution and satellite boxes all the way through to the media server and the Kaleidoscape player that can send movies to any of the rooms in the house. So in this business, simplicity is the name of the game. Everything has to be easy to use. And with an Elan system, everything is very, very simple. Everything is icon driven. If you want to change the temperature, it's very simple. Select a room, temperature up, set a schedule. Everything's very easy. and you have access from the screens or from your iPhone equally from anywhere in the world. This is really my passion. This is why I got in the business 15 years ago, was to share this experience, a really unique experience in people's homes so you can have this cinema type experience that you can only find or capture in a movie theater and now it's in their homes. That's the kind of experience we want to share with people working with Tony Visconti in the hills of Kingwood Estates. Wow. The smart systems that uh, Pat Devlin is installing are truly incredible and it's going to be wonderful here in the hills of Kingswood in a Tony Visconti home and there'll be many quality craftsmen in January that you're going to have a chance to meet. Yes, that's in 2016. You'll see us every month on the third Sunday here on Channel 8. And in the meantime, we're at home here in the hills of Kingswood. We hope you will be too. Contact Sharon Webb for more information or ask for her at the Gatehouse.